It's Batman time! Or DC time? Justice League time. Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today I'm going to have a look at the SH Figure Arts Batman figure from the Justice League movie. Now this one, I don't really collect a lot of Justice League. I don't really collect movie figures, period. Except for the Wonder Woman, which I got a couple of months ago. And this one, I don't know. I've just been looking at this guy, especially the head sculpt and everything. I'm... I wasn't too keen on it, but he recently popped up on Ami Ami pre-owned for a lower price. And, uh, you know, I, I told myself, okay, I'm gonna give him a fair chance because really there's a lot of people who, who like this figure and there's some people who are like, eh, about this figure. So I, I want to make my own opinion. So let's go and have a look at Batman. So let's have a look at this Dark Knight over here. He stands at about 15 and a half centimeters to the top of his ears. So a tiny bit over six inches tall, which he's a he's a little bit smaller than uh, previous Batman releases from Figure Arts. I mean, I, I had him, I put him up next to the uh, the Dark Knight Batman, which uh, is a bit taller. I think they're adjusting the heights of all the Justice League characters, so. Which is a bit of a bummer, you know, you can't pose him next to your uh, Dark Knight joke. I mean, you can, but he will look a little bit different. But regardless of that, the head sculpt, it's just too big. I mean, I, that, that was the thing I saw in all the pictures, and I had people tell me, oh, it's not so bad. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's not it's not a deal breaker, it's obviously not um, huge, but it's still bothering me. It's still bothering me. That itself, it looks good. Good. Uh, we don't only have one though. I'm a little bit disappointed that we don't have the one where he has like the uh, the thing on his eyes in the movie. I don't recall how he called that more like the uh, the battle, the battle cow. Let's call it the battle cow. Uh, he does look accurate, I'd say. Tiny bit shifty eyed. Again, not the worst thing, but the rest of the face cut looks good. It is very nicely molded. You know, you have some kinks here and there, some detail in the face. It's also shiny, which is once again, accurate, it is correct, because he has like a little bit more of a leathery look to it. Now, a bit of a problem, I personally don't like how it goes over into the cowl. I have the plastic part over here, that's fine, and then the cowl just kind of starts. I'm <sighs> Make a plastic cowl or make something better that goes around over here, it's just like the conversion of it is not the greatest. The cowl is completely made out of cloth, I like that. Um, the one thing, it's not super bendable, because apparently they don't have a wire in there, they just have like a plastic thing. It does bend, but uh, you, you won't have like, if you really want a crazy battle pose where it's like flowing in the wind, goes up and down, you can't do that. You can still bend it at the bottom and maybe drape it over the shoulder a little bit. Try to do that. Nah, not really. Oh, okay. That also moves around like that. I mean, yeah, the cape, it's okay, it could be better, but it's, once again, not the worst. And I I feel like that's just that's just the, the course for this review. The paint job on the figure is very nice. I mean, I really dig the bat symbol and the molded detail looks very armory. You have some shading in the arms over here, a little bit in the chest. But, uh, and then, and then it goes kind of like a little bit more bland in the torso and down at the legs. There's some spots here and there. I mean, it's okay. I, I appreciate shading regardless. Have a look at the detail on the fist. You have the armor on it. And his little knuckle protectors, or I guess whatever you call that. The belt. I'm really impressed with the belt also. Very nice paint job. Has like a little bit of a leather pattern going on. And that's really cool. So, very nice attention to detail. And paint is very clean. Very proper down to the boots. Yeah, I mean, the mold's good, the paint's good. I'm okay with that. For the articulation, I want to start off at the hat. It actually has some nice forward and back motion, just a little bit. It goes to the side very nicely. That I dig. Goes around, neck articulation. Can bring that back and forth, and it rotates around. For the shoulders, we got a lot going on, really. I mean, first you have a butterfly joint, so you can bring that forward. But, you also have a ball joint in there with a hinge on it, so you can bring it up and down and rotate it around on that. You don't have bicep swivel, but let me, let me just combine that real quick. 
You can bring the arm forward very nicely, actually. So it's pretty cool. Doesn't have any big gaps. I think there's even some shading on there. It's also nicely molded, so it doesn't break up the sculpt. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of that. You got a weird kind of elbow joint. I mean, it still has little hinges by the looks of it, but um, it's a little, it's a little bit blocked. I don't know. Usually I'm used to better. I don't. I guess it's something experimental. It doesn't rotate around. The fist is on a ball hinge, so you can rotate that around and bring it up and down just a little bit. It is a bit blocked by the sculpt, but it's okay. And there it is again. It's okay. Torso articulation. I mean, the chest goes back and forth a little bit, goes side to side. It actually wiggles around very nicely. And the lower part of the torso over here, uh, yeah, goes back and forth. You can make him dance. I think a little like more going back, forward. I mean, it's okay. It's not the worst. Once again, there's. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not. It's not intentional. It's like, it's okay. It's okay. Legs. Uh, just ball joints with the big part over there. You can move that up and down for some more articulated poses. Bring it forward. Bring it back. Bring it out to the side can rotate it around over here so you have a bit of a bicep swivel, I mean thigh swivel, double hinge knees which uh, uh the eternal knee problem, why, what, why, why are you doing that, it's not, if the knee pad is so small, uh, don't do it, and also you have a gap down here, so no, and the foot moves around a little bit, what is that, doesn't have an anchor walker, it's just on a ball hinge, okay, doesn't have the greatest range, so yeah. And you have a toe inch. Classic stuff. So there you got the articulation. So for your accessories, it's kind of minimal. I mean, I really would have liked a different face. I don't really mind so much the rest of it. I have a batarang, which won't focus. Nice metallic paint job. Very small. Don't don't lose it. And we got your grappling gun. I guess this is it a grappling gun or like a. Stun gun? No, it is a grappling gun. Which apparently has something to attach to it, which is not in my box. Now here it is, clearly pictured on the back of the box. I don't have these. Those were not in my box, so that's, that's great. I'm having a lot of fun with that. <clears throat> then we got two grappling gun hands. I'm holding just one right now because my camera don't, don't want to focus right now. But you got two of these, two open hands. And uh, two hands for the battering. These are just like open hands. And you got these two, which are really just going all over the place. And it's not focusing, but it has a lot smaller grip, so you can just get your battering in there. Let me try it out. Battering, slide it in. Slide the battering in, and there you go. You can have that and throw it. And there you go, that's it. It's comparison time, and uh. Man. This Batman is really kind of short, isn't he? I mean, we got Wonder Woman in a bit of a battle pose, she's not even standing up straight, and uh, it seems like they almost have about the same height. Which is, uh, yeah, I mean, he's a little bit taller, so it's okay, I guess, but that Wonder Woman figure, I like the Wonder Woman figure. Um, these guys, as I mentioned before, they uh, do not have the same size. The previous one is a little bit, little bit taller, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, it's also, I mean, the, the bad ears favor into that one, but uh, it is a completely different design, obviously. And uh, then we got Dark Knight Joker, which uh, again has about the same size as Batman, which is not really the greatest look for me, but uh, it, it, that doesn't really matter. I mean, it, I just wanted to do the comparison so we have an idea of the height of this guy, and I still believe he's a tiny bit too short. Not the greatest deal, it's okay. I said that about a million times, and that's gonna bring me to the final thoughts. What are the final thoughts? Of course, guys, it's okay. This figure is just, I mean, okay, it's its a bit above okay. Main problem to me is the hat, it just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And this hat is a little bit too big, not too much. And then the articulation in the, in the feet is not the greatest. And uh, lack of shading in the torso. Also, the torso is pretty loose, so I don't know about that. Especially the lower part over here, as you can tell, I can wiggle them around with just one finger. That might be a problem with stability later. I don't know. But, I mean, overall, the figure... You know, um, he clocks in at around, I think, 60 bucks new. I bought him for like 35, 40 around, so that, to me, 
40 bucks, absolutely. If I had to pay 60 though for this one, I would rather get this one. But that's also a different taste. It's a different design. If you really want this design, I mean, you can't really go that wrong with this figure. So, uh, you know, if you like the design, I think it is worth it. Could be a better figure, but it's not a bad figure by all means. So, there you go. As usual, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, feel free to hit it up with a like. And subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figures, gameplay stuff, and whatever Batman wants.